love when people get on the interstate at 20 miles an hour. They were just up a little bit and back a little bit and man that made all the difference as far as uh, making my hands worse and, and the bike just didn't really handle good with those tall risers on there so I decided to go back to the old setup but we tried a couple different things that seems to be working out stupid good. I'm running some uh, bar end weights that they run on sport bikes to kind of cut down on vibrations. And it seems to be working out pretty good so far. So I'm, I'm stupid happy with them. Um, all we have is the Renthal 7 8 grips on the one inch bars. And seems to be doing good. I went back to the same uh, eight inch rise with the Lucky Days bars. And yeah, this seems to be my sweet spot. I, actually, I might could go, you know, maybe like a six inch rise with a you know pullback riser um, that may be perfect but yeah my arms are you know relaxed and under my shoulders so good blood flow all that good stuff so but yeah it, you know you you learn and, and and live in this in this Harley game here and and yeah what I thought was gonna work did not work and you know only lasted about a week and and we went back to the old riser setup so you know trying these couple new tricks that with these bar and mirrors and uh, oh yeah these uh, good tight handlebar riser bushing seems to have eliminated some of that uh, i had some like just cheap j and p uh what are they polyurethane bushings in there before and and yeah these these uh, alloy art bushings are way better than those so um we had our the uh june meetup which, you know, I understand it wasn't a huge turnout, but we had some uh, really OGs, really OGs, some OG good people there. And, you know, that's that's what it all, these are all about is the people and the experiences and, and meeting everybody and ripping on bikes. But yeah, I'm super excited to announce that we're gonna be doing our anniversary party meetup for August at Thunder Max 
in White House, Tennessee. Um, Thunder Max, if you guys don't know, makes standalone ECUs for Harley Davidsons. It's a plug and play deal. And, you know, you take your old ECU out, put their new ECU in, and good to go. Uh, they do have loaded maps and they do have auto tunes and stuff like that. But they're going to be hosting our annual Club Style Tennessee meetup. Uh, for August and it's oh, I'm, I'm super excited about it uh, hopefully that one's a good turnout they're, they're doing a bunch of stuff like free beer and games and all sorts of stuff so we're, we're trying to add to that every day so yeah yeah we're gonna continue to do these vlogs um, I'm really 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 wanting to get back out of the lot again and start ripping these wheelies because there's so many things I've done to the bike since since I've really had a good practice day and I want to see if they they helped any of that out but you know we'll see because nothing beats seat time and practice but I, I want to really get back out there and start doing that I kind of just stop going and it, it's it's harder to get back going than, than stay going but yeah guys we're going to continue to do these videos from here on out I'm um, sorry I've been lazy. I just have been hopping on the bike and riding and not filming much. So appreciate the support guys. Like, comment, subscribe, go follow Club Style Tennessee. Club Style underscore Tennessee on Instagram. And if you're in Tennessee, man, come to one of our meetups. It's a, it's a good way to, to meet people that, you know, younger dudes into Harleys is kind of what I tell people all the time. So Appreciate that support once again guys, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.